Hot douche, and welcome back. Joey Moss with Infinite Combo Gaming. We have Naru Mill on the stack today, and yes, stack is the key word. Um, infinite combos are a lot of fun. This one's no short of that. I first got the idea from Debut Lloyd. I seen it on his channel about two two weeks ago, and I tried building a deck um, with the idea, with, the, with that kind of concept, to infinite mill someone. He didn't use an infinite mill, but he did go infinite using Naru, uh, Mayhem Master Wizard right here, and using Release to the Wind. But he was using Bantu's Monument, and uh, he was just causing infinite damage to his opponent and gaining one life. So that's how his build worked. But this one's slightly different. We're going to infinitely mill the opponent. This deck was featured on MTG Goldfish a few days ago, um, and it, I guess the, the story behind it, a man won first place. Uh, in a, a small Japanese tournament with this build. I only made a couple changes to it. I think one change. I only made one change to it. I took out one Dream Eater and added an additional search for Ascanta. That was the only changes I made to the deck. But this deck, it seems to be... A, we have more luck with this one than the route I was trying to take. And enough said. Let's get into explaining it. Also, I will be at Magic Fest in Cleveland, Ohio this Sunday. Sunday only from 1.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. If you see me... Make sure you holler at me. Give me a skadoosh. You know, please, you know, approach me. Have a talk. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. It's going to be a great time. I'd love to meet some of you. So definitely uh, show up to Magic Fest, man, on Sunday, 1.30 to 5.30. All right, Seal Away. We are running three Seal Aways up in this deck. We are also running four Drowned Secrets. This is part of the combo piece. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Four of these. Two Search for Escantas. Um, I, I, this is, I had to up it a little bit because Search is such a great card and it really does help us um, to get the combo pieces together. Four treasure maps because not only um, do we, can we use the scry ability, but we can also draw cards with treasure map. And not only that, we can also get uh, some mana acceleration using those tokens, that uh, the treasure tokens it produces when it flips. Four release to the wind. This is another one of the combo pieces. So let's just explain the combo really, really quick. Release to the wind, exile target, now land permanent for as long as that card remains exiled. Its owner may cast it without paying its mana cost. So how it's going to work, you need to have seven mana out, okay? You have to have your drowned secrets on the battlefield. And you also have to have your release to the wind and Naru in hand. So you play release to the wind, target anything, does not matter. Once you do that, you are going to play Naru Meha Master Wizard, okay? It has to be on the stack type of deal here. When Naru Meha Master Wizard enters the battlefield, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. So we are going to target our release to the wind. Exile target now land permanent for as long as that card remains exiled. Its owner may cast stopping its mana cost. Our release to the wind is going to target our Naru. Do you see what's going on? It enters. We copy release to the wind again. Releasing the wind copy. It just goes back. It, it, it puts it back into the hand. We cast Naru again. All for zero. And every time we do that, it's going to trigger our drowned, uh, drowned secrets. So we mill our opponent. The more of these you have out, the faster the mill game. But essentially, it goes infinite. I will demonstrate it. And let me tell you, it was not easy to pull this off. Even with this build that, um, that won first place uh, in that small Japanese tournament, it just, it's just not easy to pull off. Uh, also in the deck, we have some counters. For a little control aspect, we are running three copies. Two Settle the Wreckage. That's right, board wiping's fun. Three Cleansing Novas for more board wiping. Three Tafiri Hero of Dominarias. Because Tafiri's amazing. I mean, I, I'm sorry, guys. It is what it is. One Dream Eater. This is one of the cards I took out and added that additional search for. Uh, one In Bolus' Clutches just to gain control. Uh, one Syncopate, which does help out. Nine Plains, nine Islands, four Glacial Fortresses, two Hallowed Fountains, one Field of Ruin. In the sideboard, we have three Spell Pierce, three Disdainful Strokes, three Negates, one Excellence Binding, a Raph Capuchon, Ship's Magic, uh, was it Ship's ship's Mage? <laughs> one Cleansing Nova, a Lyra Dawnbringer, and Nizahal Primal Tide. This is a deck I don't recommend anyone going out and actually trying to make this infinite combo work. Don't If you have the cards, great, but I wouldn't go too far out of your way to build this deck because it's not a simple combo to pull off. It is a lot of fun, as you'll see, but it's just not that simple to, full, to pull off. So let's get up into it. Skadoosh! Can we do the infinite mill trick the whole town is talking about? We'll find out. 
We have what we need. This is really good. Um, we are missing one piece. Hopefully we can get that with search or treasure map. And we do need some removal though, so we don't just lose the match. I right, will keep. Found a renewal. All right. We got release of the wind. We don't need it. It's amazing. There's ultimate amazing sauce. No search. The card we need. Throw it to the grave. Get Cleansing Nova. We can treasure map. I'll even use treasure map. We're gonna need more land, believe it or not. So we do have to put start putting some stuff up on top. At least one more land, and then we can have the excess lands available from treasure map in a perfect world. Mm. See what's on top. Now we can start dumping off the, the island. It can go bottom. We are looking for our mill piece. We find our mill piece. We are doing good. We are doing good in the hood if we find our mill piece. Excellence binding. I don't think so, Tim. We're gonna counter that for sure. Craving it. Seal away. Another planes, don't need. That'll be flipped though, which is sweet sauce. Uh, we're kinda just buying time here at this point. We need to get to our mill piece. If we can find our mill piece. Oh, sweet, sweet baby Jesus. He flipped his two. It's a whole lot of lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have more than enough. Yeesh, it looks fun. No, we don't need you. Graving it. Another search, really? I guess we could cast the search just to dump it off. I think we will. And I can just get dumped in the graveyard. Doesn't matter which one. Maybe use one token for draw. Okay, not yet. We don't have it yet. Um, luckily our opponent is really not doing anything, so that's a huge plus. Because this combo is not the easiest thing to get off here. And a second treasure map he drops. So he, he's probably going for the win with, um, the treasures, I'm assuming. Like him and I both have, like, a little... Ooh, that's, that's, uh, that's not good. We need to really get it fast now. We gotta get this win, like, now. <laughs> <clears throat> if we want to win this. Like, pop up now, baby. Please, pop up now. Please. 
No. Please? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please? No! We did not get it yet again. This is crazy sauce. Alright, we're probably just going to blow up the whole board. I have no choice. That blows up our own search. But otherwise, we're going to lose with this card out. Eventually. He'd be able to exile it. Etc. All these other tokens. I mean, this might make him scoop, actually. We still got enough Mina out. Need our mill piece. If we could just get to our mill piece, I would be a happy camper. We got to Fury. Not exactly what I wanted, but he can help. Wow, we are deep into this with no end in sight. All we want is just to get our mill combo piece out. That's it. Excellent binding. You know, that's fine, man. I wonder if we could just do this now. It's only a matter of time. It'd be nice. <clears throat> Now I can just drop him for free. Hooray. I mean, we had an extra release to the win, so it only made sense. See the way. Can we just get our combo pieces, please? I'm becoming quite grumpy here. Uh, sure, man. Um, here, have, have some lands. There you go. Well, that time he's going to win that. <clears throat> I think we got a decent amount of use out of him. Looks at a couple cards. Really, just need that one mill card. That's all we need. Just that one mill card. We are deep in this match. Please? Drowning secrets? I know it's a fury. That is something. Wow. Wow. We will never get it. <laughs> For the life of us. Um, what is that? 32 cards. 32 in. And we have four drowning hoped secrets, whatever, just chilling somewhere. We cannot find them. Uh, Ixalan's binding. This guy. I can't release to the wind my Tefiri yet again. So that's going to be a Shapoopy for us. He will be taking it for, for this time for good. We need the release to the wind to make the combo work. And we're still hoping we can draw the darn card. That is not the card we want to draw. Um, I guess we could easily just cleansing Nova. And we can just get it back. Thank you. And plus them. Please, just please give me what we need. Wow! Oh, uh, this is crazy. Come on. Come on, Tefiri. I'm sure you guys got more control for you. Oh, that's a fun card, but we're going to counter that. That, don't, that card looks like it's too much fun. 
All right, there, there goes bye bye. Pass in the turn. Promise to the wind. To Fury. What are you doing for us, man? Absolutely nothing. That's what you're doing over here. No. You can't have that card. I forbid it. He scoops. Alright. That's that's something. Alright, I think we got it. Um, we can actually grave that. So now we have to go into full control mode. We should be in full control right now. Okay, so we use release to the wind. We're going to drop release to the wind. Doesn't matter what permanent we target. It really does not. We're going to target the ranger and submit it. Submit. Submit. Now, we have to cast Naru in the middle of all this. Target the player. Target him. Submit. Target a player again for the mill. Submit. Now everything's on a stack. Resolve. Resolve. That's going to let us target our, origi our original guy here. Uh, our original release to the wind. We'll submit that. We can resolve this. Now we're going to target our Naru again with that. <clears throat> yes, I'm positive. We submit. Release to the wind is going to resolve that. Maru comes back to our hand, allowing us to still cast it yet again. So we are going to drop Naru yet again. We're going to target our opponent. With both of those. Resolve the Drowned Secrets. Mill it, baby. <laughs> this has to be one of the most difficult combos to get off by far. Like, seriously, by far. So when it enters the battlefield, we're able to target again our uh, our release to the wind. We're going to let that resolve. Target an island permanent. We are going to, with that release to the wind, target our Naru yet again. Yes, we're sure. Submit. It's an infinite mill because we're allowed, we, we can keep casting the same cost. And we can keep casting our Naru for zero. Playing it again. Over and over and over again, targeting our opponent every time it enters the battlefield. You do have to be in full control mode for this to work. And this was a quick way to accelerate the deck and show you guys how it works. Um, simply by having two of the Drowned Secrets in, it really, really uh, boosts the speed of this. So, there you go. Um, and it's, it's infinitely milling him. Targeting instant, we target again our, uh, our Release of the Wind. Have it resolve. It comes back to us. We're going to target our Naru. Since we're copying the spell, submit. And resolve. And we just rinse and repeat. Like we just continuously do it again and again and again. Target our opponent. Submit. This is going to mill his whole deck. Uh, target, uh, target him again. Resolve. Resolve the second round secrets for the mill. Resolve the Naru. And as the battlefield causes that trigger, we go and hit our release to the wind yet again. We let their Naru resolve. We target our Naru again. Yes. Submit. Resolve it. And just continuously does that over and over and over until he's just gone. 
uh, and until he has no library. That's that's how it goes. Um, huge thanks to Wood Dog for allowing me to demonstrate this combo because it is not easy to pull off. Uh, I, I know there was um, a, a person, uh, it was on MTG Goldfish, where uh, his claim was he won a small uh, Japanese tournament. That, that may be the case, um, but holy smokes, I don't know how he was able to pull it off because I've played in several, several matches. And this combo, it, it's just, it, it's easier to get my other infinite combos off. If you guys have seen my other infinite combo builds, and they involve more cards. It's it's easier to get those to trigger and work than it is um, than it is for us to get this one off. Like by far, it is a lot easier, which is kind of surprising, I guess. But it is what it is. So then again, that resolves. That resolves. He's about done for here. We resolve that. Enters the battlefield. We're gonna uh, again target our release to the wind. Submit it, resolve it. We're going to target Naru. Just should about close it out here. Resolve, resolve. Cast again. <laughs> yeah, I do like it. Um, it's really neat, but just not that simple. And it's really surprising because I'm like three cards. Three cards isn't a whole lot, but it is a lot. It really is a lot. Um, just to have the, the three out there, I don't know. The struggle seems real. Naru comes out. We target one more time. It's just it's just never ending. He put hello. Target a nine land permanent. We target a Naru. Bring it back. Submit it. Release the wind. Resolve it. Nice. Hello. Hello. There we go. And we can do this one last time here. And that should really close it out. If you guys enjoy like infinite combos, make sure you check out my other ones. Um, I have, I would say, more reliable infinite combos in uh, that are out there, but this is uh, this is one of them. This is new, good game. We can resolve that finally once and for all. Good game. Um, there's no sense to do this again, but we can resolve it. And then now at this point, I can just decline everything. Have it resolve, resolve, resolve. <clears throat> and there's nothing there's nothing left to, to do there. Just hit next, and we wrap up the game. That's it. That is the infinite combo. Seriously ridiculous. A lot of, it's, it's, it is ridiculous. It's just, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's just crazy. Thank you, Wood Dog, for letting me do that. Appreciate you, man. Because without you, uh, that combo was really tough. I played too many matches and just couldn't get it to happen. But there you go, guys. Infinite Maru Mill. It is a thing. It's really difficult. Don't waste your... Um, don't waste your your uh, your bonus cards on it. <laughs> Don't do that. Skadoosh!